because we want to distill in pot still mode we need to first ensure that we have the correct tip installed into the air still pro currently we've got the reflux mode distillation tip installed so we're just going to need to remove that one you can try turning it clockwise to uninstall it if it is a little bit tight you can use your little spanner here and just loosen as so and then you should just be able to unscrew that so I've got my little um, pot still tip here this one has a little P on it and that's how you can tell the difference between the two your reflux has an R and your pot still has a P on it turn counterclockwise to tighten it and remember just hand tighten that and don't use the spanner for that one we just need to check that our four shots collection vial is empty and correctly in place Press the vial firmly up into the socket to ensure it's correctly fitted. So now that we've got our tip installed, we need to shift into taking out our saddles, which we don't want present during our pot still run. So I'm gonna pop down a little tea towel. You'll wanna to use a tea towel, a towel, a collection vessel, just to collect those saddles. So we need to take the cap off and make sure the basket is also removed. And then grab the head unit here and gently pry it from the boiler. You're then going to hold the unit at a 45 degree angle and gently shake it so that the saddles are removed. We're going to add our ceramic boil enhancers in our distilling conditioner, which come with your Air Still Essentials distillation kit and our distilling conditioner. We just need one cap full for this one. And then we can move on to adding our spirit. So today we're going to be doing a gin botanical run using 2.2 litres of previously distilled spirit that we've made in a reflux run using the Estel Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to our boiler. Now this has been diluted down to 40% ABV, so ensure that nothing that you put into this boiler is above that mark. We're going to plug this shorter cable power cord here into the side of the boiler go ahead and pop the head unit back onto the unit. Ensure the seal around the edge of the boiler isn't visible and then we're going to plug the smaller plug into the side of the boiler back here and then this, this plug here is going to plug into the front of the unit. Now I'm going to add our botanicals to our botanical basket. Today we have a selection of our botanicals here and for today we'll use the London Dry Gym Botanical. We'll fill the basket with these. What you can do for more flavour is you can also add botanicals straight to the boiler with some spirit for a few days and let it macerate and then add botanicals to your botanical basket as well. So we'll fill that right up to the top. And then we recommend giving the botanical basket a little bit of a tap on your, on your bench just to get rid of any loose matter. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and install that into your column here. We'll just remove the column cap and then just place your basket inside like so. And then replace the column cap and you're ready just to distill. If you are using the Airstill Pro in pot still mode to distill another type of spirit, that doesn't involve botanicals, just make sure you've got that botanical basket removed prior to your distillation. So we're going to grab our carrot head and pop that in front of the in front of the Estel Pro to collect our spirit. Pop the alchemeter in like so, and then I'll grab a couple of jars to collect our spirit. So now that we're all set up, we're going to go ahead and switch the unit on using the mode selector button. We'll press that once and it'll go into standby mode, which will appear white. Then we'll go ahead and press and hold for pot still mode, which will then flash purple. You'll hear two beeps and then you'll hear the fan and um, pump start to work, just to indicate that the unit is working. Once the unit reaches temperature, we'll start to see our four shots collect in the automatic four shots vial here. Once that's complete, the distillate will start to flow into the parrot head here, which I'm using to take cuts. I'll be separating that by ABV and splitting that into heads, hearts and tails today. So now that our unit's at temperature, our four shots vial is collecting our four shots. Once that's complete, it'll then start to flow out into our parrot head here. Make sure you keep the four shots vial attached to the unit for the duration of your distillation.
So the initial distillate coming off of the Estel Pro is going to be sitting at around the 80% ABV mark. Once we hit about 20%, will then turn the unit off as there's no automatic switch off unlike in reflux mode. When it comes to the end of your run and you need to turn your unit off or if you need to turn the unit off anytime during the run for any particular reason, just switch it off at the mode selector button or at the wall. You'll also then, if you're going to restart your distillation, before you do that you're going to actually need to let your boiler cool down for approximately 20 minutes and then you'll need to aerate the wash so you'll need to remove the um, head unit Give the wash a good stir or you can also transfer it into another vessel and then um, pour it back in to aerate it and then also make sure you use fresh ceramic oil enhancers prior to beginning the run again. So once our ABV hits about 20% we're going to then switch the unit off ourselves. There's no automatic shut off with pot still mode unlike with reflux mode. Okay. Now that our distillation is complete we're going to allow the unit to cool for a minimum of 20 minutes. While we're waiting for that to happen, I'm going to take these jars away and we'll get them ready for blending into our final spirit. If you are making something like a rum or a whiskey, this would have been your first run and you'll need to repeat this a second time. Just remember, dilute your spirit back down to 40% ABV minimum and then wait for this to cool down before you run it again. Now that our distillation is complete, we can go ahead and remove our four shots vial and then we can discard those four shots. If you're finding it difficult to remove the vial, you can simply use your finger to loosen the seal around the edge like so, and then you can just pull the vial and it should come away a lot more easily. Now that the unit's cooled down, you can proceed to cleaning it per the instructions included with the Estel Pro. If you've left the head unit on the boiler for slightly longer than 20 minutes, you may find it a little bit more difficult to remove from the unit itself. If that's the case, just remove the column cap as so, and that will alleviate some of the pressure, allowing for the easy removal of the head.